Welcome to A2S Learning. In this video, we'll study about the cell cycle and mitotic cell division. As cells become damaged, diseased, or aged, they need to be replaced by new cells. New cells are formed by cell division. Cell division is the process by which a parent cell divides into two or more daughter cells. These daughter cells can further divide by themselves, which gives rise to a new cell population. There are two types of cell division, mitotic cell division and meiotic cell division. Mitotic cell division occurs in somatic cells. Somatic cell is any cell of the body except sperm and egg cells. Meiotic cell division occurs in gametes such as in sperms and egg cells. Mitosis is a single step division in which two identical daughter cells are produced. Meiosis is the two step division in which genetically different four daughter cells are produced. Mitosis produces diploid cells which means it consists of two sets of chromosome. Genetically it is represented as 2n where n stands for number of chromosomes. In humans n is equals to 23 chromosomes. Therefore totally each cell will contain 46 chromosomes. Meiosis produces haploid cells which means it consists single set of chromosomes. Before mitosis or meiosis a cell needs to actually prepare for cell division. Hence a cell undergoes a preparatory phase called interphase. This interphase and mitotic or meiotic phase occurs in a cyclic order which is termed as cell cycle. The cell cycle is an orderly sequence of events by which a cell duplicates its contents and divides into two daughter cells. The cell cycle is divided into two basic phases, interphase and M phase. Interphase is further divided into three stages, G1, S and G2. G1 stands for gap 1, S stands for synthesis and G2 stands for gap 2. This cycle begins with G1 phase which lasts for 8 to 10 hours. During this phase the cell is metabolically active and continuously grows but does not replicate its DNA. The S phase is the interval between G1 and G2 and lasts for 8 hours. During this phase DNA synthesis or replication takes place. As a result the two daughter cells formed during cell division will have identical genetic material. The G2 phase is the last phase of interphase and lasts for 4 to 6 hours. During this phase the cell growth continues. Proteins and enzymes are synthesized in preparation for cell division. Some cells in the adult animals do not appear to exhibit division. Example heart cells and many more cells divide occasionally. Such cells exit from G1 phase and enter an inactive stage called quiescent stage. which is also called as G0 stage. M phase M stands for mitosis or meiosis. In this video we will study about mitosis. Since the number of chromosomes present in the parent cell and daughter cells are same, it is also called as equational division. For our convenience, mitosis is divided into two stages, karyokinesis and cytokinesis. Karyokinesis is a division of nucleus and cytokinesis is the division of cytoplasm karyokinesis involves four key stages prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase prophase which is the first stage of karyokinesis of mitosis follows the s and g2 phases of interphase in the s and g2 phases the new dna molecules formed are not distinct but intertwined which are called as chromatin fibers so In prophase the chromatin fibers condense and shorten into chromosomes since dna replication took place during s phase of interphase each prophase chromosome consists of a pair of identical sister chromatids a constrictor region called centromere holds the chromatid pair together each centromere consists of a protein complex called kinetoco which surrounds the centromere Centrosome which had undergone duplication during interphase begins to move towards the opposite poles of the cell. Each centrosome radiates out microtubules called asters. The two asters together with spindle fibers forms mitotic apparatus. At the end of prophase nucleolus disappears and the nuclear envelope begins to disintegrate. 
Complete disintegration of the nuclear envelope marks the start of the metaphase. During this stage, spindle fibers attaches to the kinetochores of chromosomes. The spindle fibers align the centromere of the chromatid plane at the exact center of the mitotic spindle. The plane of alignment of chromosomes at metaphase is referred to as the metaphase plate. Anaphase is the shortest phase of mitosis. During anaphase, the centromere splits, separating the two members of each chromatid pair, which move towards the opposite poles of the cell. Once separated, the chromatids are termed as chromosomes. Telophase is the final stage of karyokinesis, which begins after chromosomal movement stops. The identical sets of chromosomes now at opposite poles of the cell and coil and revert to the thread-like chromatin fiber. Nuclear envelope develops around the chromosome clusters at each pole forming two daughter nuclei and nucleolus reappears. Cytokinesis is the last stage of mitosis which completes cell division. Cytokinesis is a process which divides a parent cell cytoplasm and organelles into two daughter cells. In animal cell this is accomplished by formation of cleavage furrow in the plasma membrane. The furrow gradually deepens and ultimately joins in the center dividing the cell cytoplasm into two. However, plant cells are enclosed by rigid cell wall. Therefore, they undergo cytokinesis by different mechanism. In plant cells, cytokinesis begins in the center of the cell by formation of cell plate which moves outwards and divides the cell into two. Thus, this completes mitosis. Thank you for watching. For more videos please do like and subscribe to my channel.